Hello, this is Ed Chapman, and this video cast is going to cover the first part of the endomembrane system, and we're going to focus on the two biggest parts, the ER and the Golgi apparatus. The endoplasmic reticulum is a very large um, set of folded membranes that are usually associated with the nucleus. So here in kind of a purple color is the nucleus and as you can see kind of folded around it like a like a, a sheet is the endoplasmic reticulum. The ER has basically two forms, the smooth kind and the rough kind and you can tell them apart by whether or not there are ribosomes attached. Uh, the ER actually is a hollow space separated from the cytosol and in this diagram, they're calling it the cisternal space. So it's, it's the, the area within the ER that's separated from the cytosol. The ER structure, as I said earlier, is a much folded, um, very convoluted maze-like structure. Um, that's what, what the word reticulum basically means, net-like. And it spreads throughout the cytosol. The size of the ER is, is much dependent on the type of cell that it's found in. Um, the functions of the ER, again, depend primarily on the type of cell. So the type of cell that the ER is in is going to determine which one of these functions is going to be what the ER is actually doing in that cell. So if it's a liver cell or a digestive cell or a cell in, in, a, in a kidney or something like that, they all have different ERs um, specialized for different functions. But um, the endoplasmic reticulum, um, the smooth part of it, is primarily where you get lipid synthesis, uh, where phospholipids and other lipids are made. We get carbohydrate metabolism, which means carbohydrates are either being taken apart or manufactured. Uh, we get detoxification of toxins, uh, things like um, pharmaceuticals, drugs, aspirin, things that you take and put into your bloodstream get detoxified by the smooth ER, for example, in liver cells. And especially in muscle cells, um, the, the smooth ER is where calcium ions are stored. The rough endoplasmic reticulum looks just like the smooth ER, except for the fact that it's studded with ribosomes. So the presence of ribosomes is what makes the rough ER appear rough. Um, it's going to be, uh, its functions are going to be primarily centered on proteins, which of course are being um, transcribed and translated, excuse me, translated by the attached ribosomes. And these proteins are secreted into the ER. So if you think of the ER as a, as a sac and you have ribosomes attached to the outside, the ribosomes are going to be translating proteins and squirting these proteins into the cisternal space of the rough ER. Um, the ER also packages these proteins into vesicles and sometimes these vesicles become part of the cell membrane or they may be sent to the Golgi apparatus for further processing. The Golgi apparatus looks a lot like the ER, except it's a little bit more compact, and it looks, I think it looks like a stack of flattened pancakes or flattened water balloons. It kind of operates like the way things move inside of a lava light. Have you ever seen the oozing and shifting of shape of lava lights um, and the production of these, these sacks? That's kind of what the Golgi apparatus is going to be doing. And it functions like a warehouse. It's going to be receiving materials manufacturing materials, sorting them, packaging them, and finally shipping these things, especially proteins, into um, to other places in the cell or maybe even out of the cell by way of exocytosis. Here's a nice picture of the whole situation. Uh, we've got, of course, the nucleus up here, um, the nuclear nucleoplasm or the, um, the, the matrix of the nucleus here. Uh, kind of wrapped around it is the ER. We've got smooth up here and we've got rough ER here. Here's a Golgi apparatus, and you can see here is a vesicle pinching off of the rough ER and becoming part of the first sac of the Golgi apparatus. And it may then tr travel through all these sacs, and finally the material it contains will be pinched off here on the opposite side and get pulled through the cytoplasm, maybe all the way to the cell membrane, where it will fuse with the cell membrane and dump material out in a process called exocytosis. Um, we also can get these vesicles can become lysosomes also. Uh, the lysosomes may be made directly by the rough ER or they may be produced by the Golgi apparatus. Depends again on the type of cell. Remember the function is always related to structure. Um, a lot of times vesicles or vacuoles containing food will then fuse with vesicles 
made by the Golgi or by the ER. So there's a lot of places for things to happen in different ways to meet the different functional needs of individual cells. Here's are some um, transmission electron microscope pictures. Uh, these were taken by, remember, TEM, is transmission, and the magnification here is huge, but here you can see a nucleus. This is the nucleus here, nuclear membrane, uh, chromatin and all that material in here, and as you can see, this maze of folded material is the ER. Um, over here, we have a cell membrane and a Golgi apparatus. I want to circle the whole thing right here. That's the Golgi. And here are some of the vesicles we talked about that have been formed by the Golgi. Now the Golgi has two faces. It has a cis face and a trans face. And material comes in to the cis side and exits through the trans side. Just kind of a detail it might be good to know. We'll stop there. The next video cast will pick up talking about vacuoles, lysosomes, and peroxisomes.